Find the angle between 0 degrees and 306 degrees that is coterminal with the angle of 1400 degrees. All right. So the first thing is let's just draw a coordinate system. Okay. Now, since we're dealing with degrees and it's positive, we're going to be rotating around the uh, axis here counterclockwise and we're going to label it 0, 90, 180, 270. Okay. Now, 1400, this is a lot to be thinking about. All right. How many times are we going to go around and do it that way? We can, but there's an easier way, I think. What we can do is we can take this 1400 and we can divide it by the degrees inside of a full circle, 360. And if we do that, right, let's do the math out. So it's going to be 1400 divided by 360. This will tell us that there's about 3.88 full rotations. Right, there's about 3.88 full rotations. In other words, there's a little less than four rotations. Okay, so what that looks like is this. Watch, ready? I'm going to draw, I'm going to just do it quickly. Ready? It would be like this. One, two, three, and a little less, okay, and a little less. Now, the question is, and we can do this in a couple of ways, but the question is, how much less? Well, think about it this way. If you know you had three full rotations and you had then 0.88, or meaning 88%, or 80, about 88.88888%, of a full rotation. That means that this part here represents about 88%, 88.888% of a full rotation. That means this little piece in here represents what percent of a full rotation then? Or what percent's left? You know, what do you think? Just take 100 then, right, and subtract it by 88. .888 that means it's 11.111111%, okay? Now, these are all percentages based on what? Based on the full circle, right? So you know the full circle. Now, actually, we don't even need to know this now that I'm looking at it. We just need to know this one, okay? Because what we need to do, by the way, is we need to figure out now the angle that is coterminal. So what I mean by that is draw another initial side and then draw another terminal side. And what we have to do is we have to rotate. Do not rotate more than once. We only rotate around less than 360 degrees. So we're going to rotate all the way around to there. And I want to figure out how much was that rotation. Now that rotation in blue is the same as what I was outlining before in red. It turns out to be about 88.8888% of a full rotation, right? Well, how many degrees are in a full rotation? 360, right? And what's 88.888% of 360? Well, you can just multiply it by the decimal, right? 8888, exactly, right? So just do that, Three, 30, uh, 360 multiplied by 0.888, and that works out to be 320 degrees, and that's exactly what we needed to find. This represents now the angle here, the coterminal angle. Well, that turned out to be a full circle. But that represents this coterminal angle here, starting at the positive x, rotating around less than 360 because we needed it to be between 0 and 360, and it represented 320 degrees. Guys, thanks for tuning in. I really do hope that helped. If you can, help us out by subscribing and even hitting that like button. All right? We appreciate you very much. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, if you want us to help you out in more uh, with more questions or more topics, we've got a whole bunch of other subjects out there. We've got thousands of videos. Check it out. We'd love to help you with more. Take care.